Uh, Dave is going to do our presentation today, it's short and sweet. We will answer you. Okay. Dave. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody for being here. My name is David Parks. I'm from Ekerleni. I don't know if you've heard of that name before. Yeah. It took a long time for me to get my tongue around it. But that is Alberton area. Okay. Many people call it Alberton. Okay. And my particular <laughs> suburb <laughs> is Brackenhurst. All right. That's to be specific. I have teamed up with a person by the name of Joyce. Okay. And I'd like to just play a little greeting from her this morning before we get started. So as I'm doing this, I'm completely different in my presentation to what you generally see. But here we go from Joyce. Hi everyone, this is Joyce, a member of Catching Union and Dev. We work as a team, Dev and I. And we're going to talk about Catching Union and Dev. Please put your phones on silent. Done already. Right. Good. And off if you're not a doctor or a president. So you work with the on president is on on the well, stage. Well, take notes. Just, just so he's busy today. Yeah. This is <laughs> <laughs> he's busy. That's great. great. He's asked me to take his place. Yeah. All right. And everybody, I want to indicate my style of presentation. That's fascinating. No, I still I'm not Pieretta van Dijk. Pieretta van Dijk should be a trainer to the extent that you can get training on the business. Her style is specific and pedantic to our coaching system. Every T that needs to be crossed and every I that needs to be dotted, Pioretta will open it for you. So when I'm done, it's important for you, if you want more information, get a video of Pioretta and start looking at how the system runs together in that way. So, let's get started. So Dave is a partner to Joyce in Business. I've got this and I've got that. Okay, so what we have decided to do, right, is to work with people in a certain way. Our talents vary. So the most important thing we want to bring and put on the table is that we, being different people, are family in Kaching. So, welcome to, to, to Kaching, alright? <laughs> Tongue twister. The power of Kaching is it is a business that can free you from your current status and put you into a new status. So my question that I ask you is what would an extra 500 Rand per month, okay, do to your monthly budget? 500 Rand per month. And you might say, to a very important word. <laughs> okay, what did you say, sir? I said to the door. Thank you. So we're going to say, when it's not enough, we're going to say. Yeah, not enough. Not enough. Not enough, yeah. So is 500 Rand per month enough? No. No, it's not enough. Yes. So say it, not enough. Not, not enough. enough. Right. So, if we gave you, that is per month, right? If we said, Ka-Ching can give you a system that will give you 500 Rand, Per week. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. Yes. Can we live on that? Yes. Can we live on that? No. no. Not good enough. Better, but you ah. Not good enough. So it is? Not enough. Not, Not enough. enough. Yeah. Okay. So if Kaching had a system that could give you 500 Rand per day. per day, okay? And let's assume that comes up into the region of about 15,000 Rand. Okay, we'll just do it like that. 
rather like that and like that and it is not enough. No, not enough. Not, still not enough. Not enough. Not enough. I like the way you think. Alright, we, we're going to be on the same page together. Alright, so if Keqing happened to pay you or have a system that you can earn 500 Rand, okay, the same figure per hour, alright, that's 15,000 times 12, let's call it just for the sake of it, around figure 333,000, okay, just for the sake, is that alright? And, is that a difference? That is manna from heaven. <laughs> but to some people, that's not enough. Okay, and I'm going to go a bit further. I'm going to say, if Kaching had a system to pay you 500 rand, okay, then what? If we're going to do this per day, per hour, and we're going to say, for every 20 minutes. Okay. You like that. It's going to bring us to the figure that I want to get to, which is a million rand a month, people. Not once off. A month. A month. Okay. So, the question is, if, if you right now were in the Bahamas and you know no matter what you do, you have a million rand a month, coming into your bank account, would that be enough for you? Yeah, I think so. For now. You think so? Yeah. Alright, so I've got some American friends. I don't know about you. And I'm thinking particularly of one person, an international brilliant uh, spokesman on cryptocurrencies, J. Ryan Connor. And he would look at this and you'll say, hmm, you're talking about rands, man. Divide that by 13. And I have a problem. So if, for example, every uh, 1 minute 45 seconds, so let's just call it 2 minutes, every 2 minutes, with our exchange rate, remember 1 minute 45, we're not going to go into number crunching, okay? That would be in the region of $1 million. Right. But to some people, they live in the UK. My brother lives in the UK. All right? I'm not sure if he's earning this kind of money. But he wants to hear about pounds. Okay? All right? So, for example, if we are talking about every minute 500 Rand was paid into your account, we're talking about 1 million pounds okay okay do we know what that means right so that's where i want to go with this matter is it about the money or is it about the system and is it doable that is critical if the system is doable we will open our ears and we will listen if it is not doable go and tell your fairy tale story somewhere else correct right so what we're looking at, there's different exchange rates, there's different needs, and our friend Richard Branson, will that be enough for him? No, because he owns his own, excuse the cliche, but he owns his own kerching system. Right? Which we'll touch on. It's not called kerching. But every time he receives payment in his systems, it's kerching, kerching, kerching. And that is the sound of what we are looking at when we talk about Kaching. It is income. And in order to get an income, we know we need to make an expenditure. So that's where we are going with the system. So now I'm broadening this board and let's leave that so we've got recommendation to revert back. Is that okay? Okay, pain's a little bit. So we're gonna ask ourselves, with Kaching, who, where, what, when, how? How often do you ask that question? So when we ask somebody, what business do you want to show me? Who's involved? 
Where is the position? How do I get involved? It starts off with the understanding that somebody is presenting something that makes sense. So, the bottom line is, if this is doable, show me how. And that is critical. Okay. So, with reference to this, what we want to look at is to be able to determine what would cause a system like this. And who would refer us to a system like this? Most people in South Africa and the world over have a job. Okay? Does anybody know Robert Kiyosaki? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright? Robert Kiyosaki has written books. My cash flow quadrant won't look like his, but the principal will. And in his cash flow quadrant, he has employee status top left. That means one has a job. And what is the meaning of job? We've heard it. Just over broke. Just over broke. Just over broke. Okay? Just over broke. It's not something we have not heard before, but there are new people into this form of business who need to hear these things consistently. And these people, when they decide it is not enough, they then do what I've done. I open my own little business and I become self-employed. That means I have multiple bosses. I don't just have to listen to one. Except my wife. Correct. But as a self-employed individual, I have numerous people to answer to. Okay. And if my screwdriver is not turning because I am in the security business as a core income, if my screwdriver is not turning, I am not earning. So in other words, in order for me to earn, I have to produce results. We then look at what is a magic divide. There's a big difference. We need to move towards a greater income system and more freedom. Are you kidding? Fantastic. So, we have what we call a B, big B business. Alright? Big business. That's all our big businesses we have out there. And what is the difference with that? We called it the McDonald's structure, right? That means they have systems in place. If they have systems in place, it simply means... By big business, if the CEO does not like the fact that people are picking on McDonald's patties to not have enough nutrition, and he's heard one too many and resigns, the formula of the big business is written out down to the T of what is expected of the new CEO. Make sense? Anybody is dispensable. So, with big business... It brings in a very important person in the community, and that is investor. Okay? The investor keeps big systems going because they provide cash flow, any growth, any development. They provide money for a system to grow. So why would Robert Kiyosaki talk about this and then start talking about network marketing? Because I ask you a simple question. Are you an investor? Do you have multi-millions to invest in big businesses? Okay? Someone's nodding. So, nice to know you. But let's just say no. But there is today something called crowdfunding, right? Mm -hmm. And there's little bits of money that can open opportunity for people to move forward. So, from that particular aspect, I, you are an investor in the life of yourself and of others when you are looking at a business like a chip. So we take it to the next level and what would a mini business person be? They would be called an entrepreneur. Would that make sense? Mm -hmm. We used to think we were entrepreneurs here but basically we found a model putting an alarm. I didn't design alarms, I didn't have to design anything else, I just knew where to put it and I followed a model so I was not an entrepreneur per se. So an entrepreneur 
is a unique person. And with an entrepreneur, do I spell it right? Yeah. Okay? And with an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur has got a keen eye on, show me the money, because we are talking business now. This is a business meeting. Show me the money, and I will track it, and determine whether this will work for me or not. And that's the preamble of where we go. Okay. So, the other thing I just want to indicate, if you had a family tree, do we know what a family tree is? Okay. I come from parents who came from their parents who came from their parents. How would it look? How would I show you what a family tree looks like? Maybe I've got a tree, something like this, okay? With a branch, branch, okay? Little branches. Make sense? Okay? Family trees, okay? What's the similarity between that and if I said to you, you enter a business, and that is you. Okay? And you're going to do the most important thing you can do in life, is duplicate yourself. So to duplicate yourself, we start doing a structure. Then we've got 10 positions. Okay? And somebody says, all right, Dave, here is Kaching. Join in Kaching. And Kaching costs 200 rand. So, okay, that's not a lot of money, but what is it going to bring me, is the question. Is it going to make a residual income for me, or is it just going to be 200 rand that's lying out there doing something specific, or non-specific? So, if that's me, and they say bring them, duplicate with them, and we have 10 positions, right? Fair enough, we got it? And what is the first thing we start hearing from people as soon as we see this? It's a pyramid. Oh, you guys are running a pyramid. But you see, I'm not Egyptian. And I don't have such massive possessions that I need to build a pyramid and leave all my stuff for a future afterlife. So I don't live there. All I need to think of is with today's market, is not every business running in a form of a pyramid, CEO, <laughs> managers, sub-managers, sub-sub-managers, and at the bottom we've got Employees. workers. Okay? What is that called? Employees. Job. That's where it comes in. Employees for the job. So if we've got this structure, we say, right, what is the definition of a pyramid? It is some form of scam. You can never out-earn the person who's introduced you or the people at the top. And that is not true. Watch Pieretta's presentations and you'll see very clear, she's very clear about it. So we don't need to duplicate that information if it's already out there for us to view. So, by me joining in and I make 10 friends, alright? Tell you about a business, tell you about a business, tell you about a business, alright? We've got 10 people here. All right? Then I'll say to you, keep your eye on the prize. Wherever you see fits your strategy for your lifestyle of choice. Because if you had this, the question is, that is you, you have this. Where would you live? What car would you drive? Where would you go on holiday? Where would you shop? Paris or Paris. So you've got to look at those aspects and say, what is my dream? Network marketing. If you not have a purpose, you will not achieve a result. Or you will achieve a result. We were looking at videos at one stage. Say, in five years' time, you will arrive. We will all arrive. But will you arrive in a well designed destination or will you just end up like a ship without a rudder so if we've got a structure what then is the structure 
The structure works like this. Empowerers. We find people who want to be entrepreneurs. And then we ask, how do you make the money? And that's the exciting part. So we understand that we have a system, a closed loop system, consisting of merchants. Right? We all know what a merchant is. Okay. And some form of shop, franchise, or whatever. They have merchandise, products, and they want customers. Okay? Customers in this case are club members. Coaching club members. Does it make sense? Okay? We're going to put their club members. Alright? And they are linked by what we call a transaction system called a point of sales. Point of sales. You all know what that is? Yes. Alright. <clears throat> That's that little machine that makes the shop owner very excited when people are taking merchandise out the shop and doing a transaction. But when the fees are charged at the end of the month, they're scratching their head and thinking, where's my profit going? We want to make a difference in the life of the merchants. And we want to make a difference in the life of entrepreneurs or individuals by putting them as club members, customers to merchants using point of sales. And for years, we are so grateful for institutions like the banks who have allowed us to use cards or we've purchased cards, but they take huge transaction fees for that particular swipe. So that's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it the swipe. Okay? We're going to call it, in this case, swipe and earn. All right. And then we're going to come down to the critical part of where we're going from my direction of explanation. When we swipe, it goes to the point of sale, the merchant gets paid, and the bank normally gets paid. And all those that affiliate with the banks, Saswitch was important at one stage, right? MasterCard, Visa card, all the various people, the software designers of point of sales, they get paid, correct? Now out of that system, because of a closed loop, I'm going to call it, all right? Because that's closed, it is a legal system. It is a closed tender, can I call it that? You've got customers, you've got merchants, and transactions that take place. So it fits and ticks off numerous boxes. Again, I say, look at Pieretta van Dijk's presentation, and she goes more in depth on that. So, we're going to talk about that income that various institutions get. The software providers, the point of sales machine providers, okay, have partnered with us as Kitchen, and they give us a percentage back on all transactions that take place through our Kirchin card. Okay? So to us, we say, all right, how do we start? We're going to spend 200 Rand, and we're going to get issued, as long as I find it fast, a card similar to this. Have we all seen this card? Okay? Right? That is a coaching card. Right? So this coaching card, when we have a pin and we shop at the merchants who are signed on with coaching, we will get cash back. Now, this is the fun part. Does anybody want to see the card closer? Okay? You show. Okay. So what we're going to look at now is, I want to rub a bit of this off. I now go to a merchant. 
I use my card. And what is the purpose of the business? Why am I in it? I am going to get something called cash back. It's a loyalty card that pays cash back into my card account. Okay? And when I get cash back, let's say, just for the sake of it, let's pretend that's 20 Rand, okay? Ah, 20 Rand, there we go. But what happens now in the cash back system? I'm going to use this simply. The figures you can look at Pieretta from Dake's presentation. She will split it down to comma twos, comma ones, and all the rest. I'm giving a basic overview. So 20% of that will come to me. Right? And 80% goes to club members. You say, oh, that's not fair. Out of the 100%, 20% goes to me. But 80% of my cash back goes to other club members. And that is the beauty of that system that we were showing. 10. You can do 100. 1,000. And 10,000. Okay? So effectively, here I am. And I shop and I've got 20% cash back. Of my transaction but four people will actually get money from this all right we'll go one two three four all right but this is the beauty by giving away 80% upwards right to the people who took time to tell me about coaching those who shared initially the investment to call us to view the system, they get paid. But the beauty is, when we count this, 10, 100,000, 10,000 comes up to 11,110 people. When I can fill a matrix, and it's really not hard, and I'm going to show you why it's not hard, I will receive 20% cash back from 11,110 people, club members. Is that a wow or not? Wow. Is that a trade-off? Yeah, very good. Okay, but how do I get there? So I join in the system, and very quickly I've got 10 people, and because I got my 10 people, each person that came in, personally signed by me, I got 40 Rand cash back out of the 200 Rand, okay? Out of 200 Rand, I got 40 Rand cash back. So that ended up 400 Rand. But I got a whole lot more people in. And each position that gets filled into the system. If you watch again, Pieretta van Dijk's presentation, she will show you exactly what happens. But in a nutshell, it ends up per person on the 10 line, it's 10 Rand. Per person on the 100 line, it's 5 Rand. <coughs> per person on the 1,000 line, it's 10 Rand again. And per person on the 10,000, it ends up 25 Rand per person. Then your matrix would be full. So in other words, where would you focus your attention? Don't bring in 10, then another 20 and another 30 and leave the people behind. You heard Joyce. Let's leave no one behind. So in other words, concentrate on the 10 and teach them how to, first of all, approach people, find them, become their friends, involve them and most importantly we teach them how to shop with the card so the card that costs us 200 rand effectively is divided so that we get a certain percentage of money paid back to the club out of the 200 rand and all these figures that we look to these extents comes from 
Number one, cash back from the card, in other words, the membership. But more importantly, the daily and monthly shopping that we will do. Because the question is, if you're earning around here, 15,000 Rand a month, is it difficult for us to spend 1,000 Rand at a merchant of Kachin? Not at all. Not at all. Okay? When we are earning a million Rand a month, is it difficult to spend 100,000 Rand a month at merchants? No. Because eventually what will happen is various merchants want to come on board. And we're going to touch on merchants. But let's just finish this off quickly. So, by getting 20% back roughly, remember, roughly, we took in general. Can we tackle the questions now? now? Then what will happen is, by getting that 20% back, okay, from 11,110, it starts adding up to a lot of money, and effectively everybody's spending a hundred, uh, sorry, a thousand rand a month, because that's why we touched on 15, it'll pay us in the region of 52,000 rand a month. Okay? On 52,000 Rand a month, is it difficult to spend 5,000 Rand at merchants? No. If we are paying our cars, our houses, our telephone bills, our electricity, and all the rest, water, is it difficult to spend 5,000? Not at all. So, there is a cashback fee structure that will run from our transaction fees. So it's important for us to run the transaction fees through designated merchants so that we can get the cash back. And by getting that cash back through the point of sale, it gets distributed in a way that we start developing a structure of becoming an investor because now I can start refocusing. Because once you reach this level, it's really not hard to find another 10 people correct mm -hmm. so we have what we call further positions so in my matrix wherever I'm positioned let's assume for this case this is me and I got my 10 people in and I got another 50 people in here and I decided I go back and I say mr. Peter Mills do you mind if I have a position under you each particular person and by taking a position under each person I have what you call spots, positions. I have my master position that I have a card. Each position I take is attached to the original card. I do not get a second, third, fourth, tenth card. Are you with me? And suddenly, 52,000 per position, and I build up 10 more particular matrices, suddenly what am I earning? I'm now earning, let's just call it 500,000. Okay, we're talking about 500 rand. 500,000 rand. When you therefore take 20 positions, another 10 positions, helping people free themselves from poverty, then we have a situation where you would be doing 50,000 rand a month in ideal circumstances. 20 positions and you'd be earning a million rand a month. And that is where I am running on from a structure for us to view and understand that if somebody makes a comment or statement to a figure, let's question them and find out where did you derive it from. I'm a technician. If there's power on a product in a corner of a wall, something is feeding the power to that. I want to know where. I'm a technician. So when I look at a system, even though my style of presenting is different to others, the important thing is I want to know where things are derived from, but I don't need to, again, as I say, copycat somebody else with the way they would present something. So in all fairness, have I answered a particular way where we can reach an income of a million rand a month? Okay. But that is one product. And Kerching has multiple products. I'm just going to touch on a couple. 
All right, again I say, look at Pieretta van Dijk's presentation and she will brief you on every single one. But when you are earning that kind of money, a bit of me time would be great, right? So, coming to us shortly is a TV product of 400 channels. 4,000 4, 4, channels, I beg your pardon, 4,000 channels. And when we pay a monthly fee, and our membership members that are entrepreneurs follow suit, and it's a monthly charge, let's hypothetically say at this stage 500 rand a month, and everybody is earning the money so it makes sense, okay? What kind of monies are we talking about then? Huge monies. That means getting to the 500 rand per every 45 minutes is not difficult. Right. So where I'm going to go next is an important factor. Can you imagine when cell phones started out and we had approached you and said, look guys, cell phone technology is going to be amazing. You're not only going to have airtime, but you're going to also use data for various things, but it's going to come. And we're going to say, no, prove it to us and we want to see the evidence. But imagine it right there and then they said, all right, own the right to sell data and airtime as of today. Where would you be today? What kind of income would you earn? But in retrospect, for us to get to our groups of people that we've taken time to build and kindle a relationship with and then to follow suit, they may copy us. We are getting a brand new style 4G phone, right? 4G. Okay? 4G phone. That's going to be made available to us through Kaching. I'm definitely getting one. Because there's multiple things I can do on that. But when I buy my data and I buy my airtime, the person who introduced me to Kaching is going to earn an income. The people I introduced to Kaching who follow suit, I'm going to earn an income. So in other words, we are bringing everything so much quicker to the target that we actually want in our own minds when you look at these figures. The next important thing from Joyce and my particular direction is at a certain point you'll be earning so much money what good will we do for community development? And I've heard multiple people throughout Kuching talking in similar vein where they are saying, can you imagine the upliftment to impoverished areas that will take place by Kuching members assisting people out of their difficult times? We are in need of the most important people in the world, and that is every single person that breathes. We are in need of our merchants, we are in need of our software, our point of sales companies, we are in need of members of Kaching. There will be training for those who will go to merchants, specialized training, because we do not want everybody just arriving at a merchant and making things difficult. So please understand there are structures and we need to follow the structures. And by following the structures, we stay within an order that we can remain as a member of such a powerful organization as Kachi. So to this point, I will then open the floor. Are there any questions that you'd like to ask? And I know you had your hand up. No, that's just a simple question. Um, where does the where does Kaching make its money in order that for it to be able to pay you? Okay, we go back. That's a brilliant question. So we go back to a previous picture, okay, that we had on board, and it is what we call a point of sales. Let not use something because other people will be looking at all the duster boards, saying, "I'm sure that's a point of sale." That is a you know duster and a point of sale. We see those machines when we go into shops and we also get what we call quick response codes. Those are the little blocks. Today, the youngsters that we look at, it's absolutely amazing. You, you take your cell phone, all right, and you go to this little block and you match this QR code quick response and the payment is done. They may ask a bit more information to be filled in so they know exactly how much to deduct. 
but the quick response code is of modern man. The youngsters of today have designed brilliant things to make our pension age practical. So, if we're looking at the machine, and the machine we swipe, the transaction goes through, that the fee will come from my bank, debited from my bank account, and it gets paid into the merchant's account. There's a fee of in the region of, depends on, on company to company, 1.5 to 3.5%, up to 7% charges for transaction fees. Every time, you swipe the card. Every time you swipe the card, it's ching, ching, ching. Someone is being paid. And we have signed contracts through France, Wannapool, okay, and Kuching. They've signed contracts that we get cash back on every transaction that takes place with the Kuching card or a Kuching QR quick response code system. And that money gets paid into Kuching and the computer program immediately. Once the money is paid in, remember, again, we get paid weekly and we get paid monthly. Weekly is through the transactions of selling of cards, introducing people, mm -hmm. and monthly comes from all the other transactions through merchants that the money gets drawn off. And if that transaction is completed hypothetically by the 25th of the month, by the 1st of the month, we get paid that portion. If everything is clean, squeaky clean. If not, it'll just cross over to the following month. Does that answer? <coughs> Yeah, I guess it's mainly on percentages and the card sales, and then I guess also on yeah, the income that goes through the chain. Right. What, what we'll do is there are very specific training methods for us to understand, and, and it makes it so much simple for the person who brought you here, just to actually show you a, a picture mm -hmm. of how that actually structures. If that's all right with you? Yeah, sure. That's okay. But that's where the not comma twos, not comma ones, and all the rest come mm -hmm. in. It's important, but that's one on one yeah, training yeah, presentation. Yeah. If, if that's nice. That sounds good. Wonderful. <laughs> so, what is, what, is, what is the percentage of the card fee that's going to our service provider? Okay. So, the percentage of the card fee, thank you, Sorrel. We are getting, we are charging 2% flat rate through every merchant. Now that flat rate of 2%, I would say, beats the 3, 3.5% that most merchants will pay. Okay? I hear stories of other people paying less. It could be a story, they haven't proved to me that it's, it's the case. But in this particular aspect, we have a 2% flat rate for our model to work. Then what happens is, out of the 2%, the important thing for me and us, from our side, the questions I feel worthy of asking is what comes back to us as club members, and that is 1.2%. Okay? The rest runs people's businesses. However they operate, it's their business. I'm grateful for the portion that I get. My 20% of the 1.2% is shut. Okay? So, effectively speaking, in that, with reference to what you asked, you'd start looking at um, myself. When I shop, I'll get 0.2%. Okay? The next person in line will also get 0.2%. That's my first person under me of my 10. Okay? Then we would have... That's if it's coming to transaction from the from the first person in going up right, okay, to the leaders. Then we have a 0.1%, okay, and the next level, that will be level three, I beg your pardon, level two, back to 0.2% on level three, and 0.5% on level four. So if you're getting 10,000 people at 0.5%, work that quick math out for me, what's that? 40,000. Why a thousand rand a month? A thousand rand a month. If you actually, if they buy for a thousand rand a month, but don't worry about that. What I'm just looking at, and if you take ten thousand of that, okay, you're basically getting, if I'm not mistaken, five hundred times 
the amount you're spending that will actually come back to you. Just as a rate of figure. If it's 500 and you have more groups of 5,000, okay, from your initial effort, it snowballs to a fact where everybody knows 10 people that they can actually show how they can earn from shopping. More questions? Does that answer you, Sol? Is that fine? I just want to make yes, sure, sir. if I buy something, say, for a thousand rand, yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm getting from my, from the margin, yes, 1.2%. No. The club gets 1.2%, oh, get and you as an individual, I'm... you get 0.2% per every swipe that you personally do. And then, then going down on, 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 on the, uh, what metrics? If, if then, you know, if because you know. that's hypothetically me, okay, yeah. then Tia will get the next level, and then Edzart will get the next level, and then uh, Susan will get the next level. You, you with me? Yeah. Of the people that's that took the time to spend time with me to get me into coaching, they will get their portion of percentage. Okay. Any other questions? Joyce did say, please, everybody, if you do come watch a presentation from Dave, make sure that you bring your dictionaries. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone open a dictionary this morning. So hopefully it was simple enough and clear enough. So last call, any more questions or is that fine? Uh, yeah, just one. Yes, sir. Um, how does this incorporate with your with, with the banks? Like with, I guess, the money that's in your bank. How is it connected or is... Okay, so what we're going to say is like this. We are a club. Mm -hmm. The money gets paid into our club account, card. All right? If I'm going to make transaction of money to shop initially, because I may not have enough income, but I'm going to do my shopping anyway shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's hypothetically say uh, the spa is on board with us. And I go to spa and I swipe. Okay? And a cashback comes from spa through to Kirchin Club. All right? For me to fund my card is the time where I would go to a bank, the FNB, Put money into F and B, right? Mm, yeah. Everybody? Mm. Put money into F and B into that account. It goes into an escrow account. And once it's in that escrow account, within a few minutes it knows exactly where it must go. Due to digits, noughts and ones, my code, it knows where to find my account and it funds my card. After a little while, okay, if it's bank to bank, my F and B, I've paid the cash in, for example. I can within a few minutes go and start shopping. If it's from another bank that takes a day or two or three to actually clear funds before F and B is happy and then it goes through the process, it'll take a little bit longer. As long as we understand where we pay from and where our strengths and weaknesses come from. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. So we are not a bank. It's critical for us to say, we are not a bank. We are a closed club that have merchants working together with our club and we earn from transaction fees and numerous other businesses that are attached that France has made available to us to earn extra income. Clear? Mm. Thank you very much. No, can you withdraw money? You're welcome. Draw, withdrawing money, you would actually go to a bank, okay, a specific bank, I must just say, the net bank, and you can actually uh, withdraw from that bank through a system that Kuching will allow you to draw the cash. Okay, so you won't have money in account that you have to wait for months to draw money out of. Yes, sir. I just want to understand that this <clears throat> how we uh, we get paid. Um, in other words, the way I understand the explanation, <clears throat> we are being uh, paid by the the service fees which will get paid by the merchants to the bank. Is that what it is? That is correct, sir. No, I just wanted to be clear. But remember when you say to the bank, it would normally go to the bank, but the contract is signed mm -hmm. through the software engineers of the point of sales mm -hmm. as a closed club. Mm -hmm. So the portion that comes through to us of the 2% gets paid through to our club, okay, of which our club membership fee, in other words, to Kaching or the software providers, and then it's divided accordingly so that we can earn. It is not a bank. And we do not do these transactions like that through a bank. It is through the club that we earn our income. Did I answer you? Yes. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Last, last question. Yes, sir. 
Um, can you only buy at uh, merchants involved in this in the in, 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 this, in the structure? No. No. You are able to buy from anybody with specific point of sales that accept our card. Okay. The difference is, if you just go around willy-nilly and shop with a non-transaction uh, or, or contract from Kerching and that merchant, they can withdraw all the money, but the money will not come to us because the contract is not done. In other words, once we sign a contract, they become a merchant of Kerching and the mm -hmm. transaction is that the transaction fee will be paid into Kerching. Okay, cool. Okay. And, and can you can you um, set yourself up as a merchant? Yes, you can. And and then would you be earning points based on purchases made to you as well? Remember, it's cash. Not points. Not points. Okay, sorry. It I'm is a royalty good. card, royalty program, but paying cash back. Because when we go and I buy something, do I shop with points? No. Okay, maybe pensioners of some kind. Maybe they got tricks that I don't know yet. Okay, I shop with cash, money I've earned. Therefore, I'm only interested in cash back. Mm. All right, clear? Yep, so, so can a company get a kitchen machine? Ma like a merchant? Yes, that is also yeah, practical. And then one would apply for it and, and they earn, um, earn points as well on that machine. Cash back. Cash back, yeah. yes. yes. I understand. Cool. And the other beautiful thing is, we're from Australia, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. This is an international company. Mm -hmm. Our transactions are being taken place, okay, that the merchants or the service providers, I beg your pardon, rather called service providers, are international. So although we may not be ready to run this and and put it out world over, it'll follow South Africa very quickly mm -hmm. because structures are being put into place. We understand that there's laws, there's red tape, we just got to follow that. Mm -hmm. And we will roll this out internationally. Isn't that excellent? Yeah. <laughs> you own an international company. So friends, please go back to the person who's invited you today and actually ask them for more information. Ask them to join you into Kitchen because it will be the best thing and the best decision you'll ever make. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.